freaking cold one today. Whew. All right, so today I'm going fishing again. But let me tell you that I am prepared this time. Well, almost prepared. I have to go to Walmart and pick up some essentials to stay warm in Pennsylvania. But look at yesterday when I went fishing and I wasn't prepared. Oh my gosh, guys. It's windy, bro. Woo! Woo! Skitty beep bop bop. So I'm gonna run to Walmart, then go meet my dad, and then straight to the river and catch some slaunches. Hello. Hey, where are you? I'm here at Walmart. If you come out the market and pharmacy door, just come all the way down to the end of the parking lot. All right, sweet. Yep. See ya. Alright guys, so we're at the boat launches. This is the first one. There's two others down there. There's one other one just like this one. And then the last one is just like a, a gravel boat launch. But the water is actually looking pretty freaking clear today. Jeez. Alright, we're going to start by throwing this big old crankbait. This is an Arashi crankbait. Dives to five feet. Cat the old stick. Oh, I was scared that was going to happen. A hook to the glove. I'm on a spinnerbait now. Don't ask me why I have braid on. My fingers are getting pretty cold. This spinnerbait is so bulky that if I wasn't throwing braid right now, I'd probably break off. Ugh. Toss the swim jig for a little bit, then we're gonna move spots. I'm not gonna mess around for too long in the same spot. The problem with wearing gloves is you can't feel the sensitivity of your, your rod very well. Oh, my hands are getting cold. Let's get out of here before this gets even more of a mess. What is this battery looking like? Full battery, let's get it. Woo, second spot. Believe it or not, caught like four four pounders here, this exact spot. But I have absolutely no pictures to show for it, just because my phone was dead.
Dang, this place is polluted. Ah, oh, this is such a pain. My gl this glove is screwed. It's all the way in my glove. That's not coming out. That's all the way through. And I'm not bending this hook. I just bought these gloves, literally earlier. Same exact crankbait, just a different depth. I think the other one was a little bit too deep anyway. This is a shallower crankbait and I'm still hitting the ground. I do like this crankbait though. Cheap hooks, but I do like it. I literally catch no fish. I catch seaweed instead. A jig, maybe? Guys, I'm not the best at this fall fishing stuff. I'm the best at the spring fishing stuff, and the summer fishing stuff. Dang, I wish I would have just started my channel a little bit earlier. When I was actually catching fish. Man. Fall fishing can be tough. Actually, it's always tough. It's always freaking tough. Starting to have zero confidence right now. Oh, it's cold. I can't not keep not catching fish. Like there, we just don't have any good spots in Pennsylvania. It's getting pretty freaking cold, and I'm not seeing any bait fish at all. I'm not too good at this whole fall fishing thing, but what I've learned from videos and forums and more videos is find the bait fish and you'll find the small mouth and you'll find the large mouth. Right now I'm actually just warming up my hands because if you didn't see, one of my gloves got like hooked by the crankbait and so one of us was gonna have to go gloveless. And so he gave me one of his gloves. Thanks bro. And so he was gloveless. So we came in here, we're gonna warm up our hands and then I'm gonna go out there and fish some more. I hope you guys are bearing with these videos where I'm not catching any fish. Anyway, let me keep warming up my hands and then we'll get back outside and get to it. Do you want to get your fishing stuff or you just want to leave it here for the next guy? <laughs> 